Cranial nerve one olfactory. So ask the client to smell and identify the smell of the cologne with each nostril separately and with the eyes closed. Miss Smith, if you can please close your eyes and let me know what you smell. Okay, good job. Cranial nerve two is optic. So provide adequate lighting and ask the client to read from a reading material held at a distance of 36 centimeters or 14 inches. Ms. Smith, if you can please read this pamphlet. Okay, good job. Cranial nerve three, ocular motor. So reaction to light. Using a pen light and approaching from the side, shine a light on the pupil. Observe the response of the illuminated pupil. Shine the light on the pupil again and observe the response of the other pupil. So using the pen light, I'm gonna check for Perla. Pupils equal round and reactive to light. For accommodation, I'm gonna ask the client to look at a near object and then at a distant object. Alternate the gaze from the near to the far object. Next, move the object towards the client's nose. So again, using a pen light, I'm gonna check for accommodation. As I move the object closer, the pupils will constrict. When I move the object away, the pupils will dilate. So constrict, dilate. Cranial nerve four, trochlear. Hold the pen light one foot in front of the client's eyes. Ask the client to follow the movements of the pen light with the eyes only. Move the pen light upward, downward, sideways, and diagonally. So Ms. Smith, if you can please follow my pen light. Cranial nerve five, trigeminal. While the client looks upward, lightly touch the lateral sclera of the eye to elicit a blink reflex. To test light sensation, have the client close their eyes, wipe a wisp of cotton over the client's forehead. Can you please close your eyes? To test deep sensation, use alternating blunt and sharp ends of an object. Determine sensation to warm and cold object by asking the client to identify warmth and coldness. You can use objects like these for blunt and also sharp. You have them close their eyes and then you can alternate between the two to see if they can feel that sensation. Cranial nerve six, abducens. Hold a pen light one foot in front of the client's eyes and ask the client to follow the movements of the pen light with the eyes only. Move the pen light through the six cardinal fields of gaze. So using a pen light, Ms. Smith, if you can please follow the pen light. Cranial nerve seven, facial. Ask the client to smile, raise their eyebrows, frown, and puff out cheeks. Close their eyes tightly. You can also ask the client to identify various tastes placed on the tip and sides of the tongue. Cranial nerve eight, vestibular cochlear. Have the client occlude one ear. Out of the client's sight, place the tickling watch two to three centimeters and ask the client if they can hear and repeat with the other ear. You can also have them cover one ear and whisper something on the other ear, and then you're going to see if they can repeat it and then do the same thing on the other side. Also ask the client to walk across the room and back and assess the client's gait. Cranial nerve nine, glossopharyngeal. Ask the client to say ah, and have the patient yawn to observe upward movement of the soft palate. You can also elicit a gag response and note the ability to swallow. Cranial nerve 10 is vagus. Ask the patient to swallow and speak check for any hoarseness and then cranial nerve 11 accessory ask the client to shrug their shoulders against resistance from your hands and turn their head side to side against resistance from your hands so miss smith if you could please raise your shoulders okay and if you can please turn your head from side to side cranial nerve 12 is hypoglossal ask the client to protrude their tongue at midline and then move it from side to side